Sean Cody at TexasGunTrust.com and TexasGunTalk.com and Guns Over Texas Radio. I'm at the HK booth with OSS Suppressors and you're looking at the flash hider muzzle brake. This is the part that mounts to the rifle. OSS Suppressors has a uh, new design that's departed from the common uh, you know, the common theories on suppressors. So they've got a modular design that has several different components that allows you to move from uh, one caliber to another by swapping out the uh, components. I'm going to go into that in the next segment. Okay. okay, this is the external shroud. This fits over the core, which is mounted, which is the muzzle brake system, and that's mounted to each rifle. So you can buy multiple cores and put this shroud on each of these different calibers and different rifles. So the shroud here is the serialized portion of the suppressor. Okay, notice the veins and stuff. These basically redirect the gases and one of the features of this suppressor in redirecting the gases and the flow up backwards and then back forward through the uh, core unit, or not the core, but the uh, shroud unit, is that it decreases back pressure and decreases or may decrease bolt velocity, or certainly does not increase bolt velocity. And, you know, as we know, uh, every other suppressor that we shoot has a uh, results in an increase in bolt velocity and back pressure and gas in the shooter's face. So the OSS line uh, should and does decrease the gas in the shooter's face, which is really important for me. Okay, we're going to install the uh, back pressure regulator. That's the piece that I was calling the shroud. It just slips over the core and threads on. You see it slides, it fits under the rail. It just tightens up. Then you can see after the back pressure uh, regulator, you'll have the sound pressure module. Yeah, we'll call it, it's actually the sound reduction module. So this, the sound reduction module is a separate piece that threads onto the back pressure regulator, and it's a real simple assembly. What you're seeing here is the modularity of the OSS design, and this is something you don't see in any of the other suppressors on the market. It never works when it's dem easily when it's demonstrated at SHOT Show. Exactly. So this is the key mod system. So you hear it clicking? So now it's soldier proof, right? So once it's clicked in the keyhole, you know that everything is lined properly. And this is the business end of the suppressor. Now is there a module that goes on over this? Yes, there's, there's also a standoff you can thread onto there. You know, it's either it'd be a standoff motivating device or something simply to protect the end of the suppressor. Okay, so here's the... Uh, Back end of the suppressor, uh, as you heard, you can put different devices on the end, a standoff device, a motivator device, I like that. And that's the, uh, that's the first look that I've had at the OSS, and I'm glad I got to do that at SHOT Show this year.